Good morning to everyone. My name is uh, Kishan Kwok. Uh, I'm a Malaysian. Has been working in Scotland for has been staying in Scotland for ten years and working for Strathclyde uh, roughly four years so far. Uh, my background is in optical network, and then recently I've been working on the wireless sensor network. And in my talk, I will go through some of the project and our recent activity in the sensor network part. But before that, let me introduce uh, our group, the, our, our this research body, Center for Intelligent Dynamic Communication System, or in short, we call it SIGCOM. SIGCOM is under the AAA department. The AAA department is uh, one of the larger research group for the whole UK. And then I think last year we do very good. We are number five, I think, number five. A couple years ago, we are top number one. And then under the AAA, Currently, we have around 60 academic staff and around uh, 600 undergraduate students and 200 postgraduate. Of course, compared to MMU or some of the universities in Asia, this kind of skill is rather small, but in UK, we are one of the very big groups. Under this triple we have several kind of research centers or research in institutions. Uh, in here, the SIGCOM is the, one of them, and another one is the Center of Excellence in Image and Signal Processing, ESP, and then Institute for Energy and Environment. This institute, they're actually working on the green energy, wind turbine, and those, those kind of envir environmental friendly uh, kind of power generation. We also have the Center for Ultrasonic Engineering, and then we have one work on the microsystem and photonics and the last one is the industrial control center. This kind of different group, they have the similar structure to the SIGCOM. And then under one of these center, they usually have several professor and under this professor they work on different line of research. And then for more information please go to our website and look into the uh, yeah, the research group and the, and the professor or the personnel uh, for this uh, center or institu institution. Right now, uh, I would like to tell you more about the SIGCOM. In here, the SIGCOM is uh, comprised by three individual research, uh, small, small research group. The first one is the mobile communications. The second one is the broadband and optical network. The third one is ESP, unable communication. In the broadband, in the broadband network group, uh, it's chaired by Professor Ivan Andonovic. He is not funded by the UNI, but he, he is funded by the ITI Tech Media. Uh, this ITI Tech Media is one of the Saw semi government body like the MSC, they look for those research individual or, or the research idea from the university and try to help them to develop. And then uh, one of the prof island role is involved in this kind of activity to identify some new idea and then to talk to the researcher and then give the recommendations to the ITI and then get some funding to help the researcher to move forward. Uh, our research directions in the SIGCOM we include the network design and integrations. Uh, as you can see, the whole list is that it's different layer from the applications management down to physical. Uh, we also work on platform domains from optical to wireless. We also cover that. Uh, our strong our strong point, 
right now we work a, we work a lot in the sensor network, but we also very good in the optical. Pro 5 is is one of the pioneer working on the optical switch, and of those right now is not that actively involved in the research, but he still leads a few individual top individual research researcher, for instance like the Dr. David Hunter is uh, one of our very close clients who is working in the ISS. Both of them uh, was were well, working together to oppose the first proposed the optical line switching at the panel in this field and at the time they are quite a lot of funding. Right now a lot of activity but later on I will focus on the wireless sensor network. Okay, this is Prof Ivan and Norway. He is the boss for Sitcoms and he is also uh, the chairperson uh, looking into the broadband of the network. He is another colleague who uh, worked very closely uh, with me. He, Dr. Craig McKay, senior lecturer. He has some experience in running a company that develops the optical devices, Camerians. Uh, this is myself, senior research fellow. Uh, background is in optical network, but right now working in the sensor network. This is another research fellow. Uh, Michael, he's the hardware guy. If you come up with an idea, he will come up with the hardware to match the idea. This is responsibility and this play a very important role in our sensor network group development. He's one of the key guys that look into the hardware uh, perspective. And then uh, here is some introductions to the mobile communications. As I mentioned earlier, this form is made up by three parts. The first part is the broadband and optical. The second part is the mobile communications. Uh, here is some introductions to the mobile communications. Yeah, this group, they are one of the key players to the mobile VC. Mobile VC is a uh, more, more or less it's like research forums. It's funded by the industry. Uh, a lot of those mobiles, uh, big mobiles company, Motorola, uh, put in the money to encourage different universities and different industry to develop something new. They have been involved in these uh, research forums since 1970s when this kind of forum group has been set up. Here is the key player for the mobile communication. Professor John Donald. He's retiring soon, but he's well known in the UK mobile communications. And Dr. James Owens. Basically, Dr. James, I don't see him very often. He's very busy. So we work a lot on the AAA the conferencing. And uh, he's active, actively involved in those organizing the meeting and runs different projects. But these two are the main guys for the mobiles. And ESP. ESP, the chairperson, is also funded by the industry. Same. And there will more work on the physical layer. That they call it the chip start or some kind of new design. And this Professor Robert Stewart is the key person for the DSP. That's the structure of SIGCOM. The SIGCOM basically is made up by three different uh, groups: Warpan, Mobile, and DSP. 